Hello YouTube, this is Asasu5. I've been MIA for quite a while. I've been at the coast for almost two weeks. Um, just got back yesterday. This is Thursday the 7th of July and I went to work for one day and then we're off on Fridays during the summer or so and I didn't even get my 10 hours in. Uh, but um, anyways, just got back from the coast. As you can see from my red face, that's dry, cracked, and peeling. You can see right here, I'm white right here, or not so much here. And uh, this video is basically going to be an announcement and a question. And uh, so the announcement first, I bought a beehive. I bought a flow hive. And it's going to be a while before I get it up and working. But I've been interested in keeping bees for a while now. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm hoping to get a little bit of money out of it. Hoping to uh, enrich the environment. And so my pro my thought process was when I saw the flow hive is hey if I can do something good for the environment and the bees that's cool if I get something free out of it i.e. honey that's really cool and if I can make a profit off of that honey that's even cooler uh, but I'm not gonna have like a whole bee farm or apiary but um, you know I I'm starting out with one hive I'm gonna try that out and hopefully I'll add to it. But, um, anyways, so I'm going gonna, gonna to be uh, attempting to keep bees, and I'm going to take you along on that journey with me. Uh, not that you should, you know, look to me as a expert on beekeeping. I really know very little about it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to start looking up YouTube videos and stuff. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to be keeping bees, and um, I'm going to try to hire my sister to paint it. She's an artist. And art is pretty expensive. It is also a medium that she's not really familiar with. You know, outdoor paint, I guess acrylic paint. And, you know, she has a very specific style. And it's a very well executed style, but it's not necessarily my style. She does make stuff that I'm interested in occasionally. And a lot of her stuff is really, really well done. It's just not something that would go with my decor. You know, my house, my uh, area. It doesn't fit the decorations and stuff, but um, I'm hoping to do a Hobbit-themed um, beehive or Gandalf the Grey and Bilbo are walking up to Bayon's uh, house and he's a beekeeper and a skin changer and all that stuff. And we'll see what we can figure out. We're going to have to haggle a little bit and negotiate. Like I said, art is very expensive and uh, she is skilled. Uh, so, and I want to uh, compensate her for her time at the same time hoping for a family discount. But that, <laughs> uh, not that I'm really expecting one. I, I want to support her. But um, anyways, uh, the question, the question wanna, that I want to ask you. You know that my channel is a variety channel. I put a bunch of different oddball things on my channel. My channel is mostly knives, EDC gear, outdoor gear, I do vlog videos, I do dream journals, I talk about, you know, living with depression, dyslexia, ADHD, um, dysgraphia, and, uh, you know, I make theological videos, apologetic videos, uh, and apologetic is not apologizing, it comes from the Greek word apologia, which means to defend or to reason, uh, you know, so, uh, we were asked in the Christian faith to give an apologia for our faith, to give a, to give reasons. Um, so, um, and that's where I'm coming from. Uh, I'm thinking about starting a second channel. Now, technically speaking, I have another Google account that I'm forced to have, and it's associated with a YouTube um, that I don't do anything with, and I don't want to use that channel because it's associated with my job at the school. Uh, it, the YouTube is purely a byproduct of having a Google account with the school. Um, but um, anyways, I'm thinking about starting a secondary channel that's going to focus more on theology, apologetics, philosophy, um, and uh, more of the, um, um, I guess you could say, abstract things. You know, um, when I'm making a YouTube video, <laughs> let's see if I can fit, grab this. You know, usually I'm doing a tabletop of a knife. Now, I just recently found this knife. I found this knife um, around our property 
um, after Ike. And I guess I should have left it there for the rightful owner to grab, but I was like, you know, maybe I could clean it up or something, and or maybe make a display box and be like, hey, this is, you know, from Ike, uh, Hurricane Ike, in I think 2008 was when Hurricane Ike was. But um, anyways, usually with uh, this channel, it's not so much abstract, but it's objects. I'm doing a video about a particular object, whether it's a knife review, a gun review, a wallet review. You know, I'm doing testing videos where I'm cutting things, cutting meat. Um, I did a, some nunchuck videos and brass knuckle videos. You know, it's about an object. And now I make videos that are not about objects um, on this channel. But um, it seems that um, the majority of you are not interested in those. Some of you are. Some of you are genuinely interested. And it also seems when I make some of these videos, those people who are interested in those videos who might subscribe to my channel um, and thinking that, oh, this is some kind of, you know, theologian, apologist, philosopher guy. Uh, I really don't know what, what to call me. I am a lay theologian. I am not educated, formally speaking, uh, but I do have um, beliefs, thoughts, um, uh, and opinions about things. So basically what I'm thinking about is starting a channel that's going to be based on uh, theology, apologetics, philosophy, um, you know, maybe uh, lording disabilities, you know, dealing with that. And, um, you know, maybe more book reviews on that channel that are not necessarily not related. Um, and I want to get your opinion about it because, you know, um, a lot of you subscribe for the knives and the meat cut test and, you know, weapons and, his and you know, my historical knowledge on uh, historical weapons. But you're not really interested in theology or philosophy. And, you know, I want you to be exposed to that. I want you to be exposed to, um, you know, the more intellectual things um, or spiritual things, uh, whatever I may be talking about. Because, you know, you might not Google uh, the, Kalam, uh, uh, theological, uh, the Kalam cosmological argument or, um, you know, um, stuff like that. Um, um, you might uh, you might not look up fine tuning argument, um, but you know if I post it on the Hisatsu Five channel, you know you might see it and be like, huh, what is Kalam cosmological? <laughs> I can't speak Kalam cosmological um, argument or what is fine tuning? Um, you know I talk about Islam um, uh, some sometimes on this channel, and you may not be exposed to what Muslims believe in. And um, so, you know, I, I'd like for you to be exposed to those things. You know, I'm interested in them, and in general, if I'm interested in something, I'm going to put it on my channel, uh, no matter if it's knife-related or not. Like, you know, the beekeeping. But the, but the beehive is a piece of gear. It's a physical gear that I can review, and some of you may be interested in that. But, you know... Uh, I just feel that for y for those of you who are not interested in philosophy and theology and stuff like that, you know, you might be happier if I post that stuff on a separate channel. On the flip side, especially when I posted my video on the Black Hebrew Israelites, um, I got a lot of subscribers from that, and um, a lot of a lot of engagement. I mean, a lot of engagement, and. Um, those people subscribe and we're thinking, oh, this guy's going to be talking about this stuff. And the next thing you know, I'm posting a video about nunchucks and brass knuckles and stuff. And it's not fair to them to subscribe to my channel expecting, you know, these uh, big philosophical, theological uh, discussions. And they're getting me with a uh, uh, Emerson knife cutting up a pork loin in a blue jean sleeve. So I'm thinking I want to make a secondary channel that's going to be more on the intellectual stuff, the spiritual stuff, and leave Hisatsu 5 as more of a physical um, uh, centered um, channel that's going to be focused more on objects, more on testing physical things, experimenting with physical things, um, you know, and um, make a channel that's going to be mostly 
you just looking at me talking like I'm talking right now. Uh, the thing is, like I said, I want you to be exposed to it if I make a secondary channel. And um, I'm a little bit concerned that, you know, it's going to be, you know, a lot of effort to keep up with two channels. You know, um, um, you know, I don't, like, upload on a big regular basis on my Satsu 5 channel. I upload when I can and when I feel like it, when I feel motivated to upload. And, um, you know, I don't always get to everybody in the comments. And, um, you know, it's... It's going to be a little bit tough managing two channels. You know, a lot of these big YouTubers, they have a team. They have a camera team. You know, they might have someone, like for for example, nothing fancy. His sister, like, did a lot of her co his comments and administration type stuff. Um, you know, so uh, I'm a little bit concerned that it might be a, I might be biting off more than I can choose. But I'm going to ask for your opinion. Would you rather me separate the physical to the uh, uh, abstract uh, in regards to physical object reviews and testing to more of the intellectual and spiritual discussions and separate the channels and leave Hisatsu 5 about EDC, self-defense, um, gear reviews and have a different channel for, you know, discussion basically. Uh, so let me know what you think. Um, I need to talk to my sister about painting my beehive. My beehive should be here Saturday, so but I'm not going to get it up and running for a while because I need bees. Well, first I need my sister to paint it if she's going to choose to do that job. She seems interested, and um, you know she's she has to be comfortable with her work because she's not going to put anything out there with a subpar. Um, and then once I get it painted and everything. Then I have to get bees, and they don't just ship bees to your house. You have to go pick them up. So I might have to do a little bit of driving. And um, then once I get the bees in there, it's going to be probably a year before I get honey. And there's a honey harvesting season, basically. And you got to leave enough honey for them to survive the winter. And I have to actually study how to keep bees. I don't know how to do that. Uh, I've been planning this beehive thing for maybe a year. And I just now got around to... Uh, getting a beehive is a flow hive, so I'm I'm excited about that. But I'm gonna have to do some study, uh, you know, to learn how to keep bees. And not only that, I want to study to get my Part 107 um, drone license, but that might have to wait. Uh, so that's it. That's the video. Let me know what you think. So thank you for watching. I'm Asatsu Five, and I'm out.